guys, Fatty Purple Shirt here, and in this video, we're going to be driving the Radical S. R8 at Okiyama for a race. It's going to be a disaster. I've not had any good races uh, with this car on our racing at this circuit. We tried it in a live stream. It failed. So I'm going to do it in a video. If it doesn't work, uh, I I'm going to jump off the cliffs of Dover. Fasten your seatbelts. Let's get racing. Welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. Click that like button and subscribe if you enjoy simulator content. So we are qualified up here relatively high i'm car number i'm number one so i should actually be the best driver on it but i'm not because i'm actually terrible at tire racing but we're qualified in fourth and we're with, within the time frame of second um uh, second and third first place is bloody off but hopefully he will crash into a tree and i'll get that place for free so as long as i don't crash and get wrecked which is what's happened every time we actually stand a chance of doing okay in this race i absolutely love this car I find with IRFFB, uh, it's drivable. I will do a separate video on IRFFB because everyone will ask about that. Um, just It's just like a survival. It's a question of survival. Let's grid up. It's fixed setup, which is another thing I really love because I can't be arsed with setup shenanigans. At the end of the day, people just download the best, the, the top setups. Then you have to download it. Fixed setup. Everyone's, everyone's happy. It's all good. Um, look at the car. We've got a monster energy car in front of us. Well, that's it. That's it. That's gone. That's the end of the race. We've got a Sony Betamax Kenwood car to the left. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? Oh, Christ. Right. So it's only 18 laps, which is perfect. It's quite a punchy track. The uh, the the SR8 is a, is a very fast car. Um, as I say, personally, bloody love radicals. SR3 in particular, but SR8 is fine. I mean... SR8 is just looks like an SR3, but it's got more more power to it, and I think a little bit more downforce. It's slightly bigger. I think it might be slightly bigger framework on it, like a slightly bigger car as well. Um, here we go, guys. Turn the volume up a little bit here. Oh my god, I really don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> Delete all optimism. That's the best way to start all our racing races. Also, put the session best delta on the screen so you can uh, see if you're on your target or not. Remove all thoughts of optimism. Expect T1 rear end. Oh, I always uh, light up the tyres too much at the start of the race. They, they'll be... I need to do some dry race starts to practice that. So hopefully we don't get rear-ended when I do that. Lights on the screen. Green, green, green. Yep, I was a terrible start. I moved out of the way so the car passing us didn't have a chance of hitting us. Oh, cut. Tires are cold at the start. Tires are cold at the start. But that's fine. We still have four wheels. Oh, there we go. Whoa. That's P. Was that P1? It was. As predicted, P1's just gone into a tree. Despite there being no trees on the race circuit, he managed to find one. Good for me, bad for him. Come on. So the crucial thing with this race is that I have qualified. I, I, rather than talking to a live stream, I actually focused on the qualifying. And uh, you really need to qualify in the top eight in an online race. It doesn't matter what sim, what you're playing. Oh, carnage behind him. He's had cars in the wall. Um, top five is what you need to be able to avoid accidents. Any further back, from my experience of thousands of hours of sim racing, any further back and uh, your likelihood of being mongreled is uh, increases. Still cold tyres. I can't hear the voice chat for some reason. I've got them on. No, I, one of the things I really like about iRacing is being able to hear people scream as they uh, get shunted. Cold tyres still, come on. You can push with this. As I say, IRFFB does give you quite a good feel with this car. Um, and you do get, unlike many iRacing cars, this, the LMP2, and some of the other cars, you do, you do get, you do get a little bit of warning when you overdrive it. You can't really, you can't really drive it on the power particularly, but on the iRacing scale of death by tire, this car's relatively forgiving. Uh, it's because it's a radical, and radicals are amazing. Right, first lap down. We have a five-second gap between us and the car behind. And the car in front, I believe I've got pace to keep with him and possibly beat him. What a miracle. I mean, if we can win, if we win a radical race, that's it. Can format my C drive and quit sim racing. Oh, he's 
He's a bit erratic on his uh, brakes. And now he's gone too wide. Right, we need to get past this car. What was he doing? Right, okay. Right. Don't hit me. Don't, don't he's just driven into me. Come on, man. He's driving like a yeah. drunk. He's probably drunk on caffeine from all his monster energy. Is he going to miss that as well? Yep, he is. How do you get past a car that's under the influence? There he goes again. He needs IRFFB. <laughs> oh, my God. Side by side. I'm trying to... I don't want damage or, you know, an accident. I know I've got the pace to potentially beat this guy. But, you know, it's, it's all very well having the pace to beat someone. But that pace doesn't mean anything if your wheels are embedded in your skull. So we need to find a way to get past him. Uh, the other risk of being behind him is that... Um, get past him cleanly. The other risk of being behind a car like this is he seems to be feeling the pressure and he, he might just lose it in a way where I can't avoid it if we're too close. So, you know, it's in many ways it's safer to get past, but then you've got to risk the, you've got to weigh up the risk of getting past the car <laughs> with the with the risk of staying behind them. You know, you need like a probability engine calculator. At least when you're behind a vehicle, you can look at the flames coming out of the exhaust pipe and enjoy the beautiful view of a radical. I mean, look at that. Why has he ruined it with the monster energy stuff on it? I mean, come on. You're not playing Call of Duty here. Monster energy. Everyone knows Kong Strong from Lidl's is the true energy drink. Now, I don't know if first gear is the ideal gear through this. He's all over the shop. Come on. Sometimes this car, if you're off the brakes, it doesn't get stuck into the corners. It could be quite hard to get the nose to stick in. It's a little, the front end's a little bit wish-wash and erratic at times until you're at high speed. Then you've got the uh, downforce. See, with... I came out of that turn there because I could feel the, the back loading up and you could hear it as well, starting to slide. Just give it a quick cat of steer and that allowed me to get on the power faster before the uh, tyres were getting into monster slip angles. Oh, he's all over the place. He's just pulled up some turf there. Destroyed the home of a couple of earthworms. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to do anything stupid here. Kind of just want to... Play it super safe. Clear on the right. Because we are pulling away from the cars behind as well. So that's a good thing. If you've got a car like this and you're battling up front and there's the risk of, you know, the accident, as long as the cars behind you aren't catching you, then there's no real... You don't have to do anything stupid, especially at the early part, part of the race. Watch out for first gear there. We almost lost the back of the car. Sorry. Oh, voice chat is working. How's it? The voice chat in iRacing. A lot, I was reading on Reddit recently. Someone was like, oh, the voice chat's terrible. I hate it. It's like, well, first of all, you can mute it if you don't like it. Secondly, it's literally the best part of iRacing. Being able to hear people screaming at each other in different languages. Fantastic. Well, I doubt it. Look, we are improving our times as well. Oki Armour is a track, right? Absolutely fantastic circuit. Really good flow to it. It's what we were saying in the live stream earlier. Some tracks flow, and that's the... You may, like, they have different layouts, and you might not be the biggest fan of the layout initially, but if a track flows, it flows. And once you've learned it, it's, it's very nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Almost ramshackled in there. Right, this guy's. I feel like he, I feel like I'm a fraction faster than this guy. But this guy still has quite a good, a reasonable pace for me. <laughs> oh, come on! Struggling to get his stick in there. Wrong line through that corner. 
Cedric Batukuli or something like that. Already six laps in. You know, when you're having nice racing like this, you don't notice the laps. Good thing we're racing. You know when you're having those races where you're stuck in the dead man zone? <laughs> feels like the feels like you're dying of old age. But then you have the races where you're like battling for like top five or something, or it's just close racing with someone. You don't notice the laps. You kind of want it to keep going on. On and on forever. If only every race could guarantee to be a nice close race. This guy, he, he's getting a bit more consistent. He's smoothing out a little bit. Let's try and get the pressure on him. He's getting, he's getting into a rhythm. He don't want that. Wasn't too bad. Come on, close this gap. Remember, guys, to click that like button if you're enjoying the racing. Come on. Fantastic stuff so far. I'm really enjoying watching his uh, exhaust pipe. <laughs> of all the views to watch a radical SR8, it's a good one. Oh, he's a little bit of smoke there from his wheels. He's vaping. Oh! Oh, he got on his brakes there. Jesus. He's lost it there. I don't know what happened. He kind of threw it in. And then he got on his brakes to, like, stop. And I, I almost uh, went into him. And then I almost lost it. <laughs> Trying to uh, turn away while I was pretty much already at the limit from the, from the brakes previously. But we got through there. That was almost another complete radical disaster. Now it's a case of hunker down and protect those chicken eggs. Sit on them eggs. Don't let any don't let any foxes get them. But we do have. Uh, he's still 1.4 seconds behind us. As I said, I felt like I had more pace than him. So if I can just You're in first. focus this like a fixed Hubble space telescope, we are good. 1.9. Come on! Ten laps of P1. Jesus, this. Might not be the most riveting viewing, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> but uh, uh, if it's crap, I'll fast forward it. Or will I? Maybe I won't. Maybe I can try and pro I can try and produce some riveting conversation. That's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> Come on. Nice and smooth. Now, the nice thing I found as well, actually, with the uh, any car, this is why I think this car and the LMP2 car seem to be slightly less affected by iRacing's brutal death by over the limit. I think because these cars have quite a lot of plant downforce, like full body downforce to them, when you do lose it a little bit, you do get an, a little bit of a chance to bring it back. And even though it still might be sloppy for a bit as the tyres have sort of spike overheated or whatever they do in our racing. Great job, get to go. Um, you, you know, you, you've not lost it completely. And so you end up ignoring what's real or not. From a game design and gameplay perspective, and this is why I think driving is so compelling. The whole thing with race driving is that it's very much in your hands. Uh, and you have a very wide margin for pushing and how much risk you take and you know th th it gets harder as you take more risk but there's always a little bit of give there so you end up with that sort of super mario thing of if you're a large super mario 
you can take more risks. And, uh, you know, so in a driving sim, you can, if your tyres are okay and everything, you can, like, overdrive a bit, and you might snap, you have to correct it, you lose time and you become small, Mario, but you've not, you've not died. <laughs> so, to me, that's what, that's what I look for. Bloody hell, downshifting into first gear too quickly there, almost... Almost. There's a punishment there. You see how I, sl uh, I slid around there? My gish, I knew I did something wrong there. It was my fault, but I didn't get auto binned. I just got a little slap on the wrist and a bit of a time penalty. That's what you, that's what I, it makes it enjoyable. That's what it's all about. 6.3 second gap, guys. Oh, man. We are definitely going to bin this before the end for sure. So now, if I'm in the lead, what one one thing that's really important when you're actually winning a race or if you've crashed and you're out of it, what's really important is to stay focused and keep on it and keep actually keep pushing to an extent. Maybe not push, you know, total total risk pushing, doing anything stupid, but don't like. It can be easy to be in first place and be like, oh well, I'll just hold back a bit because I'm still away from these the cars behind us. So I, you know and then you're actually getting out of your rhythm that you're comfortable with. So this is why I really like having the Delta on the screen uh, at all times, because if I, I find if I'm always challenging myself to try and drive at my optimum or slightly better than what I've done before, um, it actually keeps me focused. It makes me less likely to do something really stupid or really out of, you know, out of the flow and, and erratic. I think that's why in, in, I'm going to compare myself to Formula 1 drivers here. <laughs> Obviously, I am not even one-fifth of the skill level of any professional driver, but um, when you watch Formula 1 drivers, they don't... It's really bad when, they're t when the garage is like, ah, oh, you, you've got a good lead, or, you know, are oh, you doing well, or, you know, those sort of things are on tracks where they want to be focused because they don't want to know if they're doing well or bad. They might want to know the gap between them and the car behind, but they just want to, you want them to get into their zone and to be doing sort of like a pattern, uh, like the zen, <laughs> the zen driving experience. 6.6 second gap for the car behind us. So we are holding them off. Merry Christmas or, well, actually Halloween coming up. Whoa, if I do, uh, see, I need to learn not to go into first gear. <laughs> that was a half second we lost there doing that. Come on, Mr. Muscle. Again, a bit of a slide there. Maybe the tires are starting to go a little bit off as well. But that's all right. As long as it goes off in a sort of pliable, predictable fashion, I am a happy camper. Seven. Yeah, so when you turn... You can hear it. That's another thing I've done in iRacing on top of IRFFB. iRacing for me is operation. How can I get more bloody information from the sim so I can tell what the car's doing so it doesn't kill me? Um, what I've done is I've turned the engine right down. Uh, I've just got voice chat high, spotter high, and the tyre volume on max. Because in iRacing, if you're not used to it, obviously if you're on iRacing, you'll know this already, but there's actually they've done actually quite a good job in terms of the range for the tyre scrub and tire skid sound so listening out to that and having that audible warning gives you a good reference for how much you are pushing the tires you know just in, just like in real life where drivers have their ears literally pinned to the tire <laughs> it's not that they're driving from the g-forces at all no it's all about tire sound <laughs> but you, you can do it I, I find with driving sims you're, you're basically in a sim you're driving blind so you know you want to if there's a with, with well with any game if there's a, an ability to make it easier for yourself bloody do it bloody make it easier come on that's a little bit faster as well Oh, come on. <laughs> At least this car's not the Porsche. I felt with the Porsche that uh, that car, it feels like it's, it's like a, a shopping trolley with a broken wheel and bombs underneath it. 
this this car isn't quite that bad and uh cedric's actually closed for uh, two seconds on this so i need to pull my finger out of touch nice and smooth everyone else is miles behind can't believe i predicted p1 crashing into a tree it's when you like, I tell you what, guys, when you live stream, <laughs> you become like a target. When you make videos, it's not too bad. It's probably to do with distraction. Of Talking and driving is not so bad, <laughs> but, but reading the chat room and driving is really distracting. I think... I don't know if it's the same for, for non-dyslexics. Uh, non maybe, maybe it's the same. I don't know. But you, you, you're reading. I, I presume it's the same for everyone. You're reading something. Your brain has to then process what you've read. And then you're, like, kind of responding to it. And then you're talking as well <laughs> on top. It's like a trifactor. And then driving the car and trying to do all the other stuff, break points and all that thing. It, and even if you're, you know, you, the traditional thing with it as a live streamer is you... You, you sort of try, you look up at the track, uh, at the chat, when there's a straight bit of track and stuff, and you don't talk on corners and break points, which is one of the reasons why. I was going to say driving sims are better than other games, but, but they're not actually, because you have loads of downtime in, in Counter Strike and other stuff <laughs> to read chat and talk. But yeah, if, you, if you're not doing it on corners, it's not too bad, but it's, it definitely reading a chat room and responding to it is. It's a whole nother level of difficulty over just talking whilst driving that must be why in real life you know the whole texting and drive thing is so much more dangerous and obviously people people talk and drive whilst they're crew, uh, doing um, long drives and things all the time <laughs> text and drive why does talking on the telephone though distract people versus talking with someone in the car maybe when you're in a car with other people you're talking to you have the added advantage of when you're about to drive into the back of someone, the other passengers go, Oh, you're going to kill us all. Whereas if you're talking on a phone, the person on the other end of the phone can't see that you're just about to hit an old person crossing the road. So that's probably what that is. There you go. We need some research on that. Whoa, first gear there. We had a little bit of slip. If that was the Porsche, that would have been a 360 no scope. Death penalty. Oh, bugger me. 4.2 seconds. He's catching with us, and we've got a back marker in front that I'm catching with. Four, four laps to go. Oh, my God. I need to... Go, go, go! <laughs> He's chasing us down! It's like a horror film. <laughs> I haven't even got my racing gloves on, and I'm using a PU... OMP Trecento wheel that gets slippy if your hands get sweaty. And I forgot to put my aircon on. Huge error. Sweaty, sweatyracing.com. And I'm not wearing my shorts. Oh, he's made a spin. He's, he's gone. He's made a huge error. He, he was pushing to try and catch me. He, I think he, he closed us down for three laps. And then he made a huge error. Oh, man, we're going to trundle to victory here, guys. Ah, oh, this is gonna be. This is my first ever radical victory in I racing. Still a few laps to go. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but this is this is like a a birthday dream. It, it, you know, this only happens uh, once every couple of decades for me. <laughs> when I happen to get put in a really low split, and the leader happens to just spontaneously combust. Here we go. We're getting down there. Getting down there. A few laps to go. I, I have noticed with this Radical, I don't know if it's because people aren't using IRFFB, but I have noticed loads of people uh, losing it on lap one. And I, I think maybe it is IR, lack of IRFFB and lack of force feedback fill. And also people just be, being very, very slow in general on the first laps in iRacing because they're terrified of the cold tyre syndrome. Um, they don't push. So you can, if you've got IRFFB and you drive by feel, 
uh, you can take advantage of that uh, in, in the cars that don't literally just auto bin you. And, and this is one of them. Even with the cold tyres, you can push a little bit. Come on. Let's try and catch this back marker. That'd be great. Don't know if I want to overtake him. So I, someone last, uh, let me know in the comments if you're supposed to take that corner in first gear. Are these corners in first gear? These, are, these Okiyama left, right are weird. Like in every single car, if you've geared your car for the other corners, they always feel like they're, you're in the wrong gear for them. They don't feel right. Ah, oh, come on, guys! What a what a trundle to victory here! I mean, the bullet train. Everyone else is in a uh, British two left to go. Two to go. <laughs> British rail train that's been held up by leaves on the track. Two to go, guys! Oh my god! This is what I racing uh, victory looks like. Clear track ahead. Ah, uh, it's like sailing a boat on the ocean. Pure boat simulator. Ah, oh, beautiful. Apart from the back marker. Ah, oh, I've just been driving my own race. Sipping my tea. It's been emotional. You, know, you, you guys were here for it. You guys in the comments section, you, you were here for it. It might not have been live, but... You have about five laps of fuel left. <laughs> I thought it was going to say, you have one lap of fuel left. <laughs> And uh, then I remembered it's fixed setup and I can't make a Dom GTR fuel issue. F fuel error. Uh, part of me is thinking to go for a PB. We've got, we got to do it. We've got to try. Might bin it. Well, that exit off second gear there wasn't too bad. Final lap, guys! They're waving the French flag! Real nice work, this is the white flag lap. Nobody mind, it's 11 second gap. This is what it feels like to be uh, Lewis Hamilton. 13 laps ahead of the rest of the field. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton, famed radical driver. I mean, Lewis Hamilton could probably drive this with, like, his feet on the steering wheel. <laughs> with his eyes closed after consuming four pints of vodka. But hey, I I'll take it. Halfway through the final lap. Ah, oh, the crowd are going wild. <laughs> the hokey armor crowd of two people. My Japanese grandparents. Oh, there's some people there. Look, there's some people on the stands. They're loving it. Oh, and on the left, there oh, are at least a couple hundred people out. They're not very noisy, but you know. Ah, oh, it's going to be a P1. It's going to be a P1. The final few corners. Pure emotion. Pure drive. Pure luck of the P1 fast guy killing himself. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Ah, oh, here we go. This is like my first I racing win in, in literally like four years. <laughs> In a car, no one drives. Bottom split, yes! <laughs> Take the victory! Oh! Thank you! Thank you. Arm ripped off by the uh, air. <laughs> Don't stick your arm out of a car going at 150 miles an hour. You won! Dinner's on me. What? what? Oh, when you're dinner, I've got, I can cook my own dinner, mate. Oh, he's taking me out for dinner in Okio. Ah, oh, it's Japan. Food will be nice. It's all right. We can have proper expensive sushi. I'll have puffer fish. Nice first team. And knowing, knowing my luck, I'll, I'll die of paralysis. But, you know, what a way to go. But there you go, guys. Unbelievable. Radical race win. Okiyama didn't get punted. Ah, pure, pure incredible action. I'm just I'm double checking the flag there. You don't want to pull over, even though it said race win, and find out that, uh, <laughs> find out that the race hasn't finished. Of course, I've never done that before. I, I never make stupid mistakes like that. Let's see what happened on lap one here quickly. Right. Sip of the tea. Whoa! You always have to have your tea in the sim rig, that's for sure. So, this guy went up there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so, what did he do?
Did he just turn in? See, this is what... Oh, we probably got poked from the car behind. It is the radicals, what's to be expected. No, we just... So this, this is what IRFFB's for. See how we turn... So he's gone right and then turned in, and the car, back of the car's on load as he turns in, and it's cold tyres, and he can't catch it, and that's it, he's gone, and this car's ploughed into him. IRFFB really helps you avoid, once you've done that, turning in. So the next video on the channel will be um, an IRFFB video, basically just telling you to get it. Get it. <laughs> but that's it, guys, for this video. That is my race at Okiyama race win at Okiyama Raceway. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and check out our other videos. And remember, we've got a Fanatec affiliate link if you're buying Fanatec stuff. I've got to say it because it keeps me doing this. Also, channel, channel, um, channel memberships. Become a channel member. You get access to a private voice chat, which I don't use. But we will do eventually. We're probably going to play a game of Counter Strike or just do some kind of channel member event on it in voice chat. Uh, so, yes, check that out uh, if you want to. Till the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.